Hey friends, I've just done my twice yearly watercolor buy and discovered a couple new to me colors that have made their way into my palette for the winter, which is trending toward darker muted tones as the weather shifts. Most of these colors are transparent and single pigment, and they're mostly Daniel Smith, but I have a couple wild cards that break each of those rules. I've narrowed my selection down to 12 full pans in this standard size palette that I bought on AliExpress. My go-to yellow is Nickel Azo Yellow from Daniel Smith. It's transparent and strongly tinting and gets beautifully warm in its mass tone. I've found a few folks on Etsy who make quinacridone gold watercolor out of actual PO49 pigment, the stuff that none of the major brands sell anymore. This quin gold is from Hydrogen Jewels on Etsy. It's the most highly pigmented out of all the Quin Golds I've tried. I tend to use it on its own because it's so wonderfully mellow and transparent. My mixing orange is Daniel Smith's Transparent Pirole Orange. I mainly use it to mix grays with my two warm blues. Previously, I used Quinacridone Sienna for this purpose, but I switched to Transparent Pirole Orange because it's single pigment and I'm increasingly into that in order to have the most versatile palette possible. A recent discovery is Van Gogh's Permanent Red Deep, a single pigment true red. The same pigment, PR149, is sold by Daniel Smith as Paraline Scarlet, but I definitely notice a difference between that color and the Van Gogh version, probably due to differences in the treatment process. Even though Van Gogh watercolor costs less than a quarter of the price of Daniel Smith in most cases, the Van Gogh colors stand up well against the more expensive counterparts and permanent red deep has become a fixture in my palette this year, especially for urban sketching. Next is Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Pink, a mid-value primary magenta. I used to use Quinacridone Rose, but I found it difficult to achieve lighter tones that are still saturated with that color. Quinacridone Pink does the job admirably. Now please don't be scandalized by what I'm about to say, I didn't used to like Ultramarine. I didn't like its inconsistencies from brand to brand, and it's only after falling in love with the Bean Paints version of Ultramarine, which is incredibly pigmented, that I added Daniel Smith's version to my palette just this month. Just like our tastes in food, our tastes in hues can change too. Daniel Smith's Indanthrone Blue is a longtime palette staple, transparent and capable of reaching incredible darks. I neutralize it with Transparent Pyrrhal Orange for browns and grays. Next is a discovery I made by chance when ordering my latest round of paint. Daniel Smith's Thalo Blue Turquoise is not to be confused with Thalo Blue or Thalo Turquoise. It is a single pigment transparent turquoise, and I was previously getting those from Holbein as Marine Blue or Winsor & Newton as Aqua Green. Like Holbein's Marine Blue, Thalo Blue Turquoise is made from PB16, but Daniel Smith has treated theirs to be a mid-value cyan that's a tiny bit bluer. I had phthalo blue in my palette previously for skies and mixing bright greens, but I'm thrilled to start using this color instead. It can be pushed a little redder for perfect, crisp winter skies. It brings back fond memories of my first pocket watercolor set from Winsor & Newton, which included a turquoise that I absolutely loved. Another longtime palette staple is Coors Cobalt Teal, about which I could wax poetic all day. I've tried almost every cobalt teal and turquoise on the market. 
Coors is the greenest and most vibrant with the best coverage and due in part to the granulation and in part to Coors synthetic medium, it creates some stunning results in mixes, particularly with quinacridone pink. My favorite single pigment green is Daniel Smith's Perylene Green, another incredibly deep hue perfect for pine shadows. It also neutralizes beautifully with quinacridone pink. I've kept Daniel Smith's Shadow Violet on my palette for ages, but this winter I'm shifting to its more goth sister, Moonglow. A little dark, a little more unpredictable, still beautifully granulating. Finally, I just picked up Daniel Smith's Sodalite Genuine, which has almost instantly become my favorite of the Primatech line for its consistent hue and beautiful granulation. Out of these 12 colors, my three primaries would be Nickel Azo Yellow, Phthalo Blue Turquoise, and Quinacridone Pink. And yeah, this is a winter palette, but the bright clean greens and oranges of this trio have me yearning for spring already. I'm looking forward to putting this palette through its paces. Do you overhaul your palette as the seasons change? Leave me a comment and tell me all about it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.